Today we got 13 inch MacBook Pro, this is 2018 model and um, problem with it is that it's not getting, uh, basically it, it, it's stuck on a, on a black screen. So you, usually this is uh, either broken screen problem or a uh, flex gate problem which is a particular failure with this uh, 2016, 17, 18 models. Uh, and one way to, to confirm is that Apple logo, which we saw over there when we shine a, a light on it, or the user login um, picture can be visible when, when we shine a light with a torch, for example, on the screen. Another way to confirm is uh, basically the caps lock light. So caps lock light comes on and off when when the system is is basically functioning so usually this is a uh, backlight cir circuit pro uh, sorry usually this is a screen uh, problem and um, what happens quite often basically is that uh, this little cable over here crimps and it's not um, and it's not passing the backlight voltage properly to the backlight circuitry of, of the display however in this particular model um, the issue is actually with a backlight circuit so i'll show you that uh, how it works now and um, and why we're not getting a backlight on this machine so backlight cir cir circuit with this model is over here so this one's are the backlight um, capacitors and we are in a diode mode let's try to hold it with three hands so if we measure between the, this capacitor, so this one's our filtering capacitor is here. You can hear that we have a uh, short circuit. And so, let's try to use my one hand like this. So, if we measure these caps, you can see how we have a short circuit here. So, this one's a uh, filtering capacitors for the backlight circuitry. You can see that it's not going down. It's basically it, around 5 ohms, sorry, 58 ohms. So let, let's let take it apart and uh, take out this board so we can test uh, what's going on in that circuitry area there. Let's lift up the board. So this, this is where we, we get in short circuits and if we jump under the microscope we can do some measure, measurements and see what's going on over there. So easy, way, easy way to identify the, the short circuit is to see what, what, what type of resistance we have there. So on this side we have 60 ohms so it's not direct short circuit but ideally we want to make sure that it doesn't go on the out of the coils perhaps straight to the CPU because what we will do is um, we will apply a met method called um, injecting voltage so we, we will inject voltage into into the backlight circuit and we will see where we, we get in heat with our infrared camera all right so we set up our jig so this is two volts we limit in the current to three amps so we have to rows of capacitors on each side and if you look under our infrared camera so basically um, one row is here and the other row is on the other side the side towards the edge of the board is ground so we will inject on the positive side uh, we're injecting and you can see how it gets hot so we're looking at this area over here where we have something weird if we switch it to uh, camera view so basically in this area over here we have a um, I'm gonna show so good so let me just so basically this area if we turn on the infrared again let's adjust it there you go Type something like this let's try it so I'm injecting 20 milliamp right now and this area gets hot Let's swap on the other side and see what's going on on this side. So, right, let's visualize one more time. There you go, the 
third one definitely is getting really hot. This one will hit the third one. Obviously, it's, it's, not, hit, it's not visible on the normal light. But if we go to the infrared, everything is burning. Easy way to do, to do this repair is to just apply the whole motherboard. But where's the fun in that? We want to keep the cost low and want to make sure that we reduce our impact to the environment. So in this uh, case, we got the heat signature between those two, two capacitors, the second and the third one. And uh, we, we, we will remove them to measure them individually because we cannot measure them in, when they're co connected in parallel. Um, when measuring, you can see that that le left one, basically the, the second one, it has short circuit, and uh, you can see the clear cracked lines on the capacitor. But these capacitors, they uh, when they're under stress, which is mainly heat, uh, they they cr cr um, basically receive these cracks inside, and and then passes voltage through, basically, uh, which means they short circuit. Okay, we have replaced the, the little cap on this board. Basically, this little cap capacitor was um, short, literally cracked up, so it was shorting. Um, also, I just want to point out um, one of the, the, the ports over here, when we look at it on, under the microscope, we already cleaned it a bit, but so making a, uh, it's quite burned out. So this usually happens when, when we are not service in our systems on a regular basis. So this whole area over here was all dirty, so we, we cleaned it up now, but uh, you can see how it's not making a good contact anymore. So this MacBook will not charge on one side of the port, ports when it's swept, uh, swapped one way or another. Uh, look, looks like that, the other ports are okay, but uh, you, know, you can see how we clean them there. Um, we, we scrub them pretty well, just to make sure that they're making a good contact. Um, another Another example that these machines needs to be serviced on a regular basis, otherwise they will end up in uh, with situations like this. USB-C technology is uh, really convenient, but it is extremely finicky and fragile. So let's fit it in and see if we're gonna get the backlight back. Let's fire it up and test. Oh, there you go. Turns on. So the the bottom port port is not functioning uh, as we suspected from the from the damage uh, on on that port socket. So we, we will query with a customer if they want us to replace the 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 ports, but. But that's not easy on these models because it's physically soldered onto the board. So this is how it looks like inside. And we can see we reused this board already for another customer's repair. Um, but most importantly, we fixed the main problem, which was uh, screen having no, no backlight. So we will assemble and test further. And we'll see how the rest of the system is performing. All right, so we have communicated with the customer and they're happy uh, not to use the bottom charging port and to use only the top one. Um, because as we mentioned, the bottom port has um, damaged traces uh, from most likely from a damaged um, charger or charging cable. Okay, um, so, so this customer also opt in for uh, system service. With this particular machine, apart than just um, servicing and cleaning obviously the inside of the device. We, we also put these additional pads um, which, which basically secures that um, flex gate cable um, from, from denting and bending which, which creates the flex gate problem on these 2016-17 uh, models. So let's apply on this one as well and I'll show you the final result. So it's a um, basically it's a textile tape which, which just helps um, give a little bit more strength into that flex gate um, cable. Actually, for both of them, for the flex gate and uh, and the camera one. Let's fit the battery. There you go. There you go. We have fixed this 
13 inch MacBook Pro, which came with a backlight problem, uh, would screen would just stay black. Uh, we, we actually, the problem was a, a little capacitor, this little capacitor here, which was uh, short, short circuiting the, the backlight signal line. It's all repaired and um, good to go. So we, we informed the customer regarding the bottom port not charging and customer decided to use only the top port. As you can see, it's not charging, um, but, but the top port is perfectly fine. So we're charging properly and, and it's all good to go. Thank you guys for watching. And if you need the service, all the information is in the description.